hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am monga for those who don't know me yet and in today's video i'll be talking about what shocked me when i started studying um i had the idea of doing this video based on an ethnographic study i did that is making a comparison of the german culture and my culture based on my personal observations and i just had the idea of doing this video and sharing what i could observe at the level of the university when i started studying and i actually noted them down so don't mind if i have to look at what i noted to actually be on track i wish to note that i was um both positively and negatively shocked so i'll be starting with the environment uh, my university here is not that big compared to my university back in Cameroon and the environment is very beautiful and very conducive and the good thing is we have Wi-Fi on campus that's something I wish can be implemented in my home country because having Wi-Fi or just having internet connection makes um, studies easier you just can grasp and information online or you know just do it at your pace and it makes things flexible i was equally shocked on the usage of the library yeah the library here is so big and almost every student goes to the library when i was in cameroon i could count the number of times i actually went to the library i basically never went today what would i go there to do actually <laughs> I didn't go to the library. I didn't use the library that much compared to now. I, whenever I'm on campus, I think I go to the library, either to photocopy or to scan something, or to even study. And what I can say is, I think um, the Germans here are initiated to the culture of going to the library and study, like when they are still very young. So when they already have that culture. When you grow up, you just stick to it, and that's why they go to the library all the time. And also, the rules of the library here are very, very convenient to each and every one. So, um, I could say that, for example, the library opens at 9 and closes at 10, that's during weekdays. And even on Saturdays and Sundays, you can still go to the library, go to 6, 6 p.m. That permits each and every one to have access to the library when the person has time. I think that's a nice one and reason, reason why I think I, many people come to the library and they feel very comfortable with it. But back then in back then in Cameroon, it was so difficult to just go to the library and want to study or just read some things. I just got used to reading at home with my textbooks or the notes the teacher gave to us and the material I also put at our disposition to read and have some knowledge so I was used to doing that. Still about the environment, on campus you could find many people, many students just working, something which is considered a taboo in my culture. Smoking in public is something that's still not a norm or a, something valuable in my culture. To smoke, for example, you need to hide because if your parent catches you or a friend to your parent, if, when your parents know that you smoke, you have problems, you'll be in trouble. So <laughs> it's something that's still not well apprehended in my culture. But here you find students smoking, and yeah, it's crazy, but that's the reality this way. Go straight to the lectures. Here we have um, four lessons, seminar, and colloquium. Terms I really didn't know or couldn't like differentiate. I didn't even know which one was which one. But I came to find out that um, four lesson is just lectures, but the professor comes and talks. Maybe at the end, like 30 minutes or 15 minutes to, to, to the end of his lectures, he could decide to take one or two questions, but that's it. Whereas um, a seminar is more, is more or less very interactive. Like he asks questions and expects answers and vice versa and it's more of interactive 
so the colloquium is just having a scientific talk with the person to supervise you and uh, give his idea on the topic you're supposed to work on or maybe just say you, sh you tell him what's your topic of interest or on what you wish to write and he then tells you if it's a good idea or not so that's basically the main idea of a colloquium whereas in Cameroon I was just used to lectures and the tutorium tutorium which we basically which we normally call td travel dg and i uh, that's why i got confused with three terms tourism seminar and colloquium which are more or less familiar to each other so um talking about transportation as something that shocked me in cameroon we are used to having our bikes or using the taxi as means of transportation when we are going to the university Oh, and when you're in the university, we mostly just walk. I never had any issue with that. But here, and here, most students have their bicycles. And even with, and there is a place where you could park the bicycles as well. I just learned to ride a bicycle just when I came to Germany. I didn't know how to ride a bicycle before. I bought my bicycle and the, very, and the same day I bought it, I just started riding it. I couldn't like continue being oppressed. I had to buy a bicycle as well, and I find it very flexible. You just can you, you mustn't wait for the tram or I don't know. You just go on your pace. And now, right now, I'll be sharing about the dressing. I think when it comes to dressing, from my observation, students in Germany dress very well compared to what I never knew Germans had a good taste of fashion or trends. But from the from what I saw, they dress very well and they are chic and elegant. Even in Cameroon, we used to dress. We students dress very well. Students are very clean, and when you go to university, you see all types of uh, uh, fashion, and yeah, it's really it's really a nice place, you know. University is really a nice place when you. Which, which fashion is trending? Um, Cameroon, we don't joke with dressing. And it's really a good thing that what we have in Cameroon, I could actually see it in Germany as well. Another aspect of shock was that of the refectory, which is which is the mensa here. So the mensa here is um where students mostly eat. Where students can eat something, and they don't pay with cash, but we, but the money is deducted directly from their student cards. I find it good. Like you just need to put money in your card and it's deducted and it's very flexible. You mustn't remove money, cash and pay. That's something very good, I think. Even though I don't really like going to the Menza because I'm still not so familiar to some dishes there. I don't really enjoy it. So I'll mostly carry my food from home and I'll eat. I was really shocked of the fact that um Germans really consume coffee a lot. You know, um, I th in Cameroon we produce coffee, but we don't really consume it that much. Um, my German friends tell me they can't really study at this without drinking coffee. So at the entrance to university, there's always a long queue where students buy coffee. In you never start in Cameroon. We start our days with good food because we like eating good food, and even in the university we always have spots like where you could buy something and eat very fast without necessarily going to the student refectory and i find it good <laughs> because just going to the mensa to eat i don't know for me it's boring so i was shocked at the fact that you can just have something like something to eat at the mensa and that's all i miss good food on campus with something i was used to in cameroon talking of hobby while studying i think here in germany studies goes very good with hobby like you can as well study and do what you like in your free time you could merge them easily and get to enjoy both and the university for example uh, gives students the opportunity to to be like to enroll in any sport activity you have dancing you have football you have a lot of sport activities and that's really good because when you enroll for those classes they're not that expensive I'm enrolled in an Afro dance class and I pay just 55 euros for this semester. If I was to pay for those classes extra, like if I was to pay for those classes 
and not being a student from the university, it would be very expensive. But since I'm a student in university, I just pay 25 euros. That's a student price. I think it's, no, it's normally once a week, one hour or one hour 30 minutes. It depends on the sports you do or the activity as well. So the last but positive aspect of shock was that of language courses. Um, being a student at the, at the university, you have the possibility to learn as many languages as you wish, so far as your timetable permits you. For me, I'm still on the German matter. Like, I still take German classes, like, every semester. But even though next semester I will still take a German course, I intend taking Spanish as well. I should at least learn a, a different language before leaving the university, else I think I'm going to regret it. <laughs> so that's something really very nice and which I think could be a good idea implement that in Cameroon as well, giving students the opportunity to at least learn different languages while studying, to have more opportunities like after their studies. That, because here in Germany, you mostly find many Germans speaking multiple languages, and that means when they travel to different places, they will necessarily not have issues like uh, a student who speaks maybe just one language or just maybe two languages. So coming to the end of this video, I'm happy I shared with you all the positive and negative aspects that shocked me um, when it comes to studying in Germany, like the course of my studies. And if you liked it, please press on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed so the channel can grow. And see you for the next content. Stay safe and cheers!